My name is Trish Schwinkler, Presidential Diamond from ASEA, calling in on this Tuesday night with our Business Builder webinar. Uh, thank you everybody for taking time to be on. And you are gonna hear tonight from Lorreen Bavart. She is a relatively new ASEA Diamond from Australia, and you are gonna be amazed by her story. So uh, Lorreen, why don't you tell everyone hello and where you're calling in from? Hi everyone, uh, thank you so much for having me on the call this morning and um, I'm calling all the way from Gisborne, Melbourne, Australia. Um, I'm standing in the middle of a horse stud while my girls are having some horse lessons. It's about two degrees but the sun is shining and happy to be on with you all um, tonight. Wonderful, two degrees Celsius that is. We don't even know yes. what that is Fahrenheit. <laughs> okay, so Lorraine, uh, tell people a little bit about your background. We'll go through several slides here that you can share with people. So I um, did a university course to study to be a physical education teacher, a secondary school physical education teacher. And during that time while I was studying to be a teacher, I started um, a martial art called karate. Um, I did that because I got followed home a couple of times from college. And I used to love Bruce Lee movies, so I thought oh, I'd love to do something like that. So I started doing that and I love the uh, competition side of it. So I started to enter competitions and I become state champion. Uh, national champion and it just progressed into where I won uh, a few world titles so I'm very very proud of that achievement and during that time I also went into being a phys ed teacher and I did that for probably about seven years and while I was a phys ed teacher I had this opportunity to be on this tv show called gladiators which is a reality tv show about contestants against these gladiators playing these games and these obstacles and it's about us trying to beat these gladiators to gain as many points as we can to get on to the next, whether it's a semi-final, the final and so forth. And I did so well as a contestant. I won the series that the TV organisers and the producers of Gladiator said, Lauren, we'd love you to be our new Gladiator called Glacier. So I resigned from teaching because that's what you do, right? You have a secure job and everything and you go and leave that to be a gladiator. It just doesn't make sense. But anyway, I did that. And while I was doing that, I started my own personal training business. And I did that for numerous years. And because of the profile through gladiators and whatnot, I had a phone call from a gentleman, which I'm sure that most of you will know of, called Russell Crowe, um, the movie actor, to be his personal trainer for the next six months, which turned into five years. And what an incredible experience that was. We travelled the world, we lived in exclusive hotels, um, travelled first class, private jets, and got to meet some incredible people, which I suppose really helped build my vision. And I did that for five years. I came back and I got married, had two beautiful girls, and then 2009, life threw me a curveball where I found myself to be a single mum. And being a single mom, that really throws some challenges, just emotionally, financially. I really found myself in a really low spot. I lost my self-confidence, my mojo. Just didn't, I was in a really dark place. And um, I was very, very fortunate that uh, a gentleman by the name of Daniel Doyle gave me a phone call. He came down to Melbourne because he lived in Sydney. And it's probably about an hour and a half flight from Sydney to Melbourne. And we just catch it up for a chat, just a good old friends. And then he threw out this question halfway through and he said, Lorraine, I've got this wonderful product to share with you. And straight away, I crossed my arms and legs and just put the guard up and thought, hey, I'm not interested. I'm sure it's fantastic, Daniel. I just don't want to know about it. I've seen it all. I've heard a lot. My travels with Russell and been competing, I always look for something that would help me recover and perform faster. And there are many great ones, but really, this is not for me. And he said to me, will you listen to what I've got to say? And I always listen. I never say no. I just like to listen. Hey, and I Larry, said, of course. Let me point out a couple of things here that I think yeah. are important. Number one, uh, Danny Doyle actually flew to your city to reconnect with you. He didn't just give an important person like you a phone call. He didn't just send you a link. He actually flew to your city to visit yes. you, right? The second thing is when you said, no, I have no interest, he said, will you, will you just listen to me if I tell you a little bit of information, right? Yes, that's right. And that's a big teaching moment right there because two things that most people do, they would either give up when someone says no or they would just talk, talk, talk and they would never ask permission. But Danny is a master uh, prospector. 
So he didn't give up and he asked permission to tell you more, which I think is fantastic. So as we sat there, um, first of all, he told me his story and he has a very compelling story, had a huge health challenge. And also he's a mentor to me. I, you know, he has given me a lot of advice in the past and he was very compelling. He was very um, passionate about what he was sharing. So that really piqued my interest. And secondly, he said to me that it's native. And I said to him, what do you mean by native? He says, well, everything you use out of there, out there could be organic, herb-based, plant-based, or could have chemicals in it. This is exactly what's inside our body to empower our immune system. And being a health fanatic and passionate about that, that really just piqued my interest even more. And the third thing he said to me, and it's been dubbed as the most significant health and anti-aging athletic breakthroughs of yours in my lifetime. And when he said that initially, I cringed. I said, that's a huge statement to make. And he says, yes, this is 15, 20 years ahead of anything else. And I've still got my fingers crossed. I'm still sceptical. And I'm one of those Aussie girls that grew up on the beaches of Australia. So anytime there was a ray of sun, I would be out there. Baby oil, coconut oil, anything to make myself tan, burn, to get browner. And I paid the price for that. Paid a price for that, that uh, I had sun damage that I had to try and get rid of, hide. I was looking for alternative treatments that could be expensive, that were invasive. And I never went down that path. And that's where Danny introduced the Renew 28, the gel to me. And I'm still sceptical here. He said, look, I want you to go and try this. So I went out the front door and as I was leaving, he said, make sure you shake the tube and take those photos. So I did and I just went home and I said, I'm going to prove this guy wrong. I'm going to show him that this doesn't work. But I was a good student. I did what he said, shake the tube, took my photos, religiously took it morning and night, rubbed it in and I couldn't believe my results within 18 days. So significant that I thought, wow, if that's done that for me, how many people that I know in my age bracket or uh, who have similar conditions to myself would love to know about this where it works, it's not invasive, there's no toxicity, and it's affordable. So I just compiled a text with my photos and sent it to probably 60 of my great friends. And I couldn't believe the response that I got. At least 55 of them come back to me, yeah, I'm in, where do I get it, how do I start? And at this point I had no, um, I was just sharing it. It wasn't about the business, I just wanted to share it. But when those people started to come on board and they started to share it with other people, before I knew it, I was getting little thank you checks for sharing it with people. And that's where it switched for me. I thought, okay, this is it. This is the tool. This has been given to me to share with the people I know, the network I know. I can help a lot of people. And that's how so, it started. So, Lorene, tell us a little bit about the text you sent. What did you, what did you send in uh, the text? So, I'm a big believer in text messages. I, you know, everybody always looks at text messages. Um, and so, I just put something in the, along the lines of, hey, Trish, it's Lorene here. How are you going? Uh, it's been ages since we've had a chat. Uh, look, I've come across something that's had such a significant impact on my uh, discoloration on my skin. It's non-toxic, it's affordable, and it's work. And I would post my photos. Um, please get back to me if you'd like to know more or, or want, want to talk to and find out some more information. And that's all I said. And honestly, they all come back, yep, I mean, where do I get it? So then I would just say to them, would you like to buy it retail? But I recommend that you open up an account so that you can get it at wholesale and you need to give it a good go for four to six months. And I just did that. I told them the price. All oh, this is by text message. I would register it for them, got their details, got their product and then just followed up and make sure they all got good results and they were using it properly and it just snowballed from there. Simple as that. No email, no links, just a good old way, text message and a bit of a chat. Sharing your story, sharing your before and after pictures, asking people yep. to get back to you if they wanted more information. Yep. Right? Yes, that was it. Yep, that's all it was. Absolutely love it. So you have a little bit of networking experience before ASEA, but not very much at all. Yeah, very, very little. Not very, very successful at all. Um, so this is a total new ball game for me. I was a new platform and I had to learn. You know, it's just like anything else. Um, you have to plug in, read, listen to people, um, talk to your upline. Um, fail, say too much, send too much, send the wrong things, all that. And that's all part of your personal development, personal growth. Um, something like this, you, and it's a three to five year plan. You've got to put the work in step by step and slowly climb up the ladder. And if you do the right things and 
try not to change the wheel. All the tools are there. It's all duplicatable. Um, you can't fail as long as you put the work in. So, so you, it took you, a, 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 what, about two, two years or something? To yep, two, yep, two years. Okay. Two years to the point. So yeah. you started out with tax, but then you moved into doing a lot of in-home meetings, right? Most of your business is local, right there in Melbourne, Australia, right? Yeah, yeah that's right. Yep. So I, I did try the big meetings and I just found, oh, you know, people just feel a bit more comfortable. And this is in Melbourne, uh, maybe different for other people in home meetings. So what I mean by for home meetings is in someone's house, small groups, five to 10 people, um, I didn't want more than 10 people. I tried to keep it around that number, but they had to have five people, new people who weren't already associates or customers for make it worthwhile for me to come out. So I put it back onto the host. I said, this is your responsibility. I'm trying to help you here with your business. I'll do anything you can to get you started, but you need to make sure that you try and you know, share this or invite so many people that you have five there on the night because you always get cancellations at the last minute. Sure. And so, um, so that's time, what I do. Most of the time, do people have five to ten people at your parties? Absolutely. Absolutely. Maybe one out of the last, or the, I've met, had one or two cancellations in the last 18 months or so or okay. more. Okay, absolutely. Yeah. So right now we're really um, promoting in-home presentations. Any night is a good night, but in, especially in North America, in the U.S., uh, every Thursday night is in-home night, and we have a triple diamond that zooms in to various time zones for those of you who are in the U.S. So you did these. Tell, tell us more about your in-home meetings. What types of things did you do? I know you said that you used a presentation that you got from A-Team Support by simply clicking on presentations where you can download. T tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so look, it's, it's all there. So why reinvent the wheel? I may personalise a little bit, like putting my before and after photos in and so forth to make it work for that audience. Um, and then I would just have some set um, guidelines that I needed to meet. So I always wanted to start on time. That was really big on that. And to have coffee and tea or nibbles and wine or whatever it may be for that host, that we wait till the presentation's done. Because some people, everyone likes to start on time and some people may need to leave for some reasons. And I just find that having the coffee and the nibbles and talk afterwards just breaks that ice a bit where sometimes people are a bit reserved to ask a question in front of everyone else, but they have the opportunity afterwards to either ask the host or myself in a more private situation and to answer their question. And I just find the vibe, the energy, the enthusiasm, they all know each other. It's just a great vibe. And I always try and get a booking from a booking. I always try and encourage people to say, look, if you feel like this is something for you that you would like to share this product with someone and you're not sure how to go about it, come to me um, and we'll definitely help you do that. Uh, we'll help you how to set up the invites and we'll put a booking in. It can be next week, it could be two weeks, it can be two months. And if you do so, we'll give you a free product for doing so. But you, never try and do that. you didn't give the free product until they actually had the in-home with at least five new people there, right? Correct. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. So tell, tell us a little bit of how you set up the invites. How do you help people set up the invites? Um, so I've got some, um, just some basic drafts. And I would talk from a point of view, um, uh, the invites would be, I can do it on Facebook, but all be health related. If you want to find out about something that can have an impact on your health like never before, it's a breakthrough. I may even put before and after photos on there or I may even put a testimony on there and I'll just get the host to personalise it for their friendship group or their network because they know their group better than I do and then we'd go through that draft to make sure it's right and then we'd send it off and then we just wait for RSVPs and, yeah, we set up like that and off we go. Okay, Pretty simple but it works. Absolutely love it. So do you have some uh, certain closing technique at these in-homes? How, how do you actually get people to go ahead and place the order at these in-home presentations? Uh, well, we just go through it at the very end. We just say, look, this may be, for, it's your choice where you want to be for this. And you have a different ways of that you can be involved or to use the products. You may just want to use the product as a retail customer, or perhaps you'd like to share it a little bit more with your friends to get your product paid for, or maybe you can see this is a lot more for you, this, that you can see this is a new business for you. Um, you have no pressure to do any of them. And what we're going to do here, we've got some product here we can test and trial, have some Q&A, and we go through a little bit of the costings. Uh, we just sell the best way is to open up the account, which is $54. You get the product for wholesale. We go through the policies, you know, that you can return it after so many days and all 30 days. 
Uh, there's no contract and it just make people feel comfortable. Sure. And that they yeah. don't have to do anything. It's really, it's just, you've seen it today. If you need a bit more time, he will give them some information for some people. They might want to go look at some links or some sign links, do their due diligence, which is all good. And it's all about the follow-up, isn't it, for the host um, to make sure if they didn't register there on the night that they follow up in, within the next two to three days and see how they can help them. So, so how many in-home presentations would you guess that you've done on a weekly or monthly basis over the past two plus years? Oh, oh probably three to four a week. Three to four a week, every single yep. week, pretty much. Every single week. Yeah, yeah, yep. And it doesn't matter if they're first level to you, second level, third level, fourth level, wherever. No, level. not at all. Just walk. I just work, you know, in depth and a width. Whoever needs it. Yeah. And I'm, I'm here. I'm here. You know, I'll bring up my leaders. I'll say, hey. Um, you know, Betty or Trish or Bob, I uh, really want to help you to get to Director 300 or Director 700 so they can start getting money in. And how can we do this? Okay, let's get a list together. Let's get a little, why don't we get a group of people together, make it fun, um, let them get the spirit of the product, uh, get them to feel the vibe and the energy. Let's do it that. And I just try and keep that going. And then one, say one is done. If you get a booking from a booking, that momentum keeps going, the energy keeps going, the excitement keeps going. And then you'll have a corporate event come in and you'll have one of your upline come in and do a presentation. So then you plug him into that. So they hear someone else speak, not just you yeah. and that sort of thing. So it's really, really good to keep those events going, whether that's home meeting, whether it's a regional, whether it's a corporate event, as long as there's always things for people to plug into. Yep, rhythm of the business, promote events. Yes. So I know one of your favorite uh, uh, tools that you use is Carl Smith's presentation, which you can yeah, actually do. find on A-Team Support by clicking on the information for professionals. Um, tell us a little bit about how you use that tool, Lorene. Uh, some people ask me, oh, have you got something they're going to have a look at? Um, I like to send them uh, either a short sort of a link to have a look at or something a little bit longer. And the person, you, some people you know, if they're more detailed than others, and other people um, are quite happy to, to see a short link. So sometimes I send them um, Dr. David Silverman's six reasons in six minutes, and then I, other people say, no, I need more detail, I'll send them Dr. Carl Smith. And it's all done by text. I very rarely use email unless someone specifically asks. And the reason being for that, if I go to my inbox now, the amount of emails in there, and to get back to them all, I miss them. Yeah. Whereas text message, I guarantee everyone looks at their text message and there's nothing wrong with if I send someone a text today and they haven't responded by tonight or tomorrow morning, I'll go back. Hey, um, Trish, did you get my text message? And she's going to feel like, oh, God, I have to answer that. You know? And she might just say, oh, yeah, I have. just haven't had a chance yet. Can you follow up into the week? Great. No worries. Or maybe she says, yes, I did. Just haven't had a chance yet. You know, so that communication is still there. Absolutely. It doesn't, you don't let, don't let it fall through the hole. But, but your main tool, like Danny, Danny, your sponsor used the product as a tool. He used the personal meeting as the tool. And you really rely on those really more than you rely on links or anything else, right? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Because I think, um, like, whether it's a phone call or through your text message, they can feel your passion. They can feel the credibility that comes away. When you send them a link, I think sometimes, not in all cases, it impersonalizes it. Absolutely. I absolutely agree. Plus, hey, they can't get their questions answered. They might just go and Google ASEA and believe the negative information. Whereas if you sit down with them, you help them experience the product, you answer their questions, there's a much better chance that they're going to go ahead and get some product, join you, start wanting to share with others. Would you agree with that? Absolutely. 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 So, so, so let me just go through this quickly and add anything you'd like. I mean, essentially, you've used the A-lift process that we've really taught uh, for ever since ASEA began, uh, you know, over seven years ago, we teach people the, the A-lift process. A stands for attitude. As you can tell, Lorena has an incredible attitude. She's a, she has the attitude of a winner. She has a complete belief in ASEA. She made a list of people. She started inviting them to learn about ASEA. She uh, used tools like in-home presentations, et cetera, to introduce them. She follows up and she teaches her team to do the same. Uh, uh, you can learn about this A-Lift process on our charge-up calls every single day. If you're overseas, you could go to chargeupcall.info. Um, I'll just go, th why don't you just say a few words about the importance of attitude, Lorreen? Oh, you've got to have a positive attitude because, you know, how you, people can feel it. If you talk to people 
uh, when you're on the phone or if you're talking person to person, if you don't have that right attitude, they can feel that straight away and they're going to lose confidence in what you've got to share with them. How do you, you know, get so, the right attitude? Or if you're not in the right attitude, don't ring. Wait till you are. So you know, maybe it's uh, stand up, go get some fresh air, be outside, just take a few breaths and say, okay, here we go. The next hour or so, we're going to make these phone calls. I'm going to be positive. I'm going to be upbeat. Here we go. They're going to feel my passion coming through that phone. I'm not yeah. going to do it lying down. I'm not going to be hunched over my desk. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely make sure my posture and my yeah, attitude is spot on before I make contact with people. Love and it. when I follow up. Love it. Talk, uh, about, talk about making your list. How do you teach your people to make a list of people to invite to these in-homes or to send texts to? Uh, well, to start off with first, um, I would sit down with um, and think, okay, you're going to start a new business, a new company. Who are the most 10 in? 10 people who are influential and entrepreneurial that you can work with that you would love to be part of your core people of your team. That's how I started initially. And then I would just write down everyone. I mean, Eric Worry's GoPro, uh, uh, what is it? The, uh, That's the right, jogger, GoPro book. The jogger. The, and, and the jogger the, okay. the, the, uh, reminds you of, he has a whole list of different occupations and everything and I just went through that and it's amazing how that triggers you like the dentist your doctor uh, the plumber um, neighbor and it just makes you think okay oh yep 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 and I would just write them all down and then sometimes like some of those people I haven't spoken to for a long time so I just wouldn't ring up the phone and just hit them up with it straight away because the guard comes up and people are just going to go oh this is trying to sell something here to me this is not for me so I would just connect with people and I would do it again by text I would say uh, let's use Bo Buck, for example. Boo Buck. That sounds funny, doesn't it? <laughs> Boo, stranger. Um, how are you? Are you free for a chat? And nine out of ten times, the people would call me back before I'd call them. And they'd say, oh, Lorraine, how are you? Haven't spoken to you for ages. What have you been doing? And we would just have initial chat. And if it leads that way where it goes to their health and they say, oh, you know, I can't believe the last 12 months I've been feeling this or haven't got that, I would just say to them, oh, really? Oh, well, you know what? I have something with you that will have such a significant impact on your health like never before. Are you willing to have a look at it? Oh, I'd there love to. Hell asking, yeah. Asking that qualifying question, are you willing to have a look at it? Absolutely. Yeah. Two professionals ask questions. I love that. And then I'd go from there. And then sometimes if it doesn't go that way in the conversation, then I won't go there. I've connected with them. And I may follow up with them in a week or two just to ring up again and it may go back there. Or I might meet up for lunch. But I'm not going to hit up with them every time I ring up someone straight away. Sure. Yep. You're going to you're going to nurture that relationship. You're going to be a friend yep. first, and and secondarily, you know, share share a seat with them when the, when the time is right. Right. That's right. Yep. That's right. Exactly. Exactly. So, it's all so about you timing. Introduce Asia. You invite them to these uh, small meetings that you're having. Do you want to say anything about that? Introducing and using a tool, Loreen. Um, yeah, definitely. You've got to have your favourite tools that you like to use. Um, like I said, I love Carl Smith. I love the six minutes, six reasons in six minutes. And I also love some of the ones on amazingmolecules.com. And you will know who to send, what link to send to what person, depending on their personality. Um, but again, but definitely. like your sponsor, for example, if he would have sent you a link, you wouldn't be in a see it today. But oh, sorry. You know that. Yeah, no, sorry. Is that what you mean? Sorry, I misunderstood. No, you. no, you know, yeah. you're fine. You're fine. I'm just trying to put everything in, in perspective. What he did was he actually flew to your city, sat down, reconnected with you, even though you hadn't connected for a number of years. Is that right? That's right. Yep. And, Absolutely. And the tool that he used was the product. He gave you a tube of Renew 28. He told you how to use it. He told you to do before and after pictures. And because he had that personal contact and he used that powerful tool of redox signaling molecules, you're here today as an ASEA diamond. <laughs> That's amazing, isn't it, really? It just it blows me away. Wow. It is amazing. Yeah. Talk, talk about the importance of follow-up. I know you already did a little bit more. How do you keep track of all this stuff, Lorene? I have an, uh, a spreadsheet and I just write their names down and what day I contacted them and then write down depending on where they are and who they are and what it is. You know, follow up on day three or week two I just keep following there's one person I've been following up now probably for three months but I don't impound them right they go oh, I'm just been so busy just had a look at it sure no worries then I'll just put back in my diary okay I'll give her another three weeks but I give some people just every three when I've made contact with someone I'll follow up within two to three days okay absolutely love it yeah. so talk about how do you teach your team to do the same how do you teach them to do these in-homes how do you you know, help them do the A-lift process. 
Uh, well, it's the lead by example, isn't it? Uh, they definitely see what I'm doing and I uh, would try and if I, someone wants to do a presentation in home, sometimes I start to share the presentation with them. So let's say Wendy wants to start doing presentations. It's like, great, Wendy, get a group of people around. Why don't I start it off? Why don't you do this section? I do this section, you do that section to help them build their confidence. Okay, and then we do that. And then after the presentation's been done, I say, okay, now all those people that were there, let's have a look at follow-up. How are we going to do that? What day are we going to do that? So I hold their hand a little bit till they start doing that until they can do it on their own. Absolutely love it. So one of the things you told me how you went diamond is you contacted two people a day for several months, right? Yeah. Tell yes. Us, tell, absolutely. tell us about that. So I think um, when we start off, and I've been um, of fault of it as well, we have we get so hooked up on, oh, I want to get this particular person. She's great. She knows so many people. She'll be fantastic. She's a go-getter. She's dynamic. And when you can connect with her and you share it with her, you're putting your high hopes on her that she just says yes. But she says no. And that deflates your confidence and you feel low and you feel flat. But she's maybe the only person you've contacted for that whole week. So you lose confidence. So that I love connecting with two people a day because by the end of the week I've got 14 people in that funnel so when I go back to number one if they say no okay it doesn't mean I'm going to cut them off the list I'll follow up again maybe a little bit later but I've still got another 13 12 11 10 people in the funnel but I still keep going because that funnel keeps filling up with people so I don't get emotionally attached to someone when they say no because I've got enough people in there where I'm going to get yeses Absolutely. So these two people that you called every day, again, like you said before, you didn't necessarily tell them about a see you right away. Some of them you just reconnected with, right? Just reconnected with them, yeah, because everyone's got so many people on the email list. They've got so many people on their phones. I'm sure there's a lot of us that haven't connected with everyone on their phones. I'm still one of those because you prejudge. You think, oh, he won't like it. She will. Maybe not. Just get on the phone and reconnect with those friends and just have a chat and you'll be surprised where that goes. I've helped out so many people who were glad I got in contact with them um, because they were really unwell or their mum was really unwell. It just it comes up in conversation and uh, you just throw out that question out there. Say, hey, I think I can really help you with that. Absolutely love and it. Go so from you, there. Your, your goal as a new associate is to go wide, sponsor your own 20 or more people looking for some builders like you, people who really get excited and go to work. And then after a while, what you started, you, you quit doing your two a day after several months because you started working with those people and how, helping them develop their organization, right? Yep, absolutely. Got to go deep. So one thing that I really learned um, on this journey, like when I was competing uh, for Australia and Victoria around the world, it's all about me. My training, my visualization, my preparation, my recovery, my talking to my coach was all about me. It had to be selfish. This is a whole new ball game. My success is my team's success. So for me to get up in the ranks, I've got to make sure I take a whole team with me. Because if I just do it on my own, I ain't going to get up there. So I had to find leaders. I had to find people who wanted to do this. And I just I gave them everything. I'll do anything you want. If you can show me you want to build this business, I'm here with you. You just ring me anytime, 24-7. I'll come here. I'll teach you. I'll show you the way. And uh, I get as much pleasure out of their success as I do out of my own. Absolutely. So you're, you're sponsoring people yourself. You're working with your people. You're training your people. You're motivating your people. And uh, one thing about you, Lorene, you're a hard worker. You worked hard in athletics. You worked hard with Russell Crowe. Uh, ASEAS, ASEAS, it's work. You have to be focused and some people miss opportunity because it's dressed up in overalls and looks like hard work, but, you, but you're willing to do the work. You're willing to do the meetings week after week. You're willing to do the texts. You're willing to do the calls, right? Oh, absolutely. And I think when I first sort of started with ASEA, like I, I relied too much at, um, probably on my upline. I wanted a Danny Doyle to do the the, the the presentations. I want him to do this. I want him to do that. And I thought I'd just sit back on my laurels a little bit. And I suppose that came a lot with self-confidence as well, because it was just decimated through um, becoming a single mum and um, I needed to get that back. But my business wasn't as grown as quickly because he was in Sydney and Bart and Melissa were up in Brisbane. And so I was all on my own. I thought, if I need to do this, if I want to, if I want to have the life that I want for me and my girls, I'm going to have to do it. 
So I, it was just like karate. I had to learn the skills. I had to go and find my mentor. I had to plug in. I just had to learn it so I could do it myself. And, you know, sometimes I'm way out of my comfort zone. Did it matter when I did a presentation I said the wrong things or stuffed up? No, because I didn't know. I just kept on going and knew I was, you know, <laughs> looked like I knew what I was talking about at the start. You know, all those learning things. And because of that, I've grown personally and the confidence starts to come back and then that confidence and that attitude, um, people around you and your team can feel that. So they want to be part of that, uh, which is great. It's exciting. Absolutely love it. So you really have believed, belonged and become and you have become and see a diamond. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty exciting. Amazing. I've got to pinch myself sometimes. I like, a, uh, you know, I've, I've been so good athletically wise, um, as you've seen in the story at the start, and I really wanted to prove to myself and some people around me that I could do it in the business world too. So I'm well on my way. Long way to go. I, I see uh, Diamond as the first step of climbing the mountain, and I've got a long way to go, and I'm looking forward to being up there with the likes of Tammy and Denny and yourself and many, many others. You are well on your way, girlfriend. You are, you are amazing. In my first company, it took me over four years to go diamond. You're way ahead of me. Um, <laughs> so, so here you are with your, your, your lovely daughter, daughters. A single mom becomes an ASEA diamond. Your dreams start coming true. Uh, mm. talk about, let's talk about the Bahamas cruise. You were the number one winner. What did you get from ASEA and how did you become the number one winner for the Bahamas cruise that just, it just took place a few weeks ago? Oh, well, I, let's see how, um, let's talk about how I got there. So it was very important to hit platinum because if you hit platinum each time, you got the 10 points. And if you got gold and down, you only got the five points, but you also had to get the most enrollments. So at the start, I just seemed to be out the front by default. I wasn't even really striving hard to go for it. And I was out the front week one, week two, week three, and all of a sudden I'm getting text messages from Cindy and Bo Buck and then Tammy and Danny Gola in my upline. I thought, oh my God, I'm really starting to stand out like a beacon here. And then I was there for week five and six and then week seven. I thought, right now I'm really going to have to put my foot down because it started to become a competition by uh, Leyland Ducks and the Keys. And then Karen Riley got involved and Kim Hill. And they're going, go Aussies, go the US. And I thought, this, here we go. And then really tapped into my competitive juices. I thought, okay, this is it. This is Australia versus the United States here and the rest of the world. Go Aussies. So I just, <laughs> competitiveness that came into me, I thought, right, just really focusing, really knuckled in. I didn't want to be that footy team that wins all season and then gets knocked at the gate because I wasn't sure whether the ducks and the keys were holding people back and just going to put people in the end so they just picked me at the end. So I thought I'd better do what I know best is that go in there really hard, crush them, subconsciously they're going to think, oh, well, we just have to finish second. Isn't that terrible? But it worked. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, I, and I thought I'd mellowed a little bit in my com competitiveness, but obviously it's still there somewhere. <laughs> Absolutely love it. And there will be an Ascent cruise, I believe, next year. So for all you listeners, uh, you know, good to take advice from Lorene about how to get on the cruise next year. And what did Asiya give you, Lorene? Oh, so they, uh, my airfares were paid for and they gave me a beautiful suite on a cruise, which uh, like a huge bathroom and a big lounge room and a huge deck looking over the ocean as we sailed through the, the seas um, and spending money. Uh, so I took my two daughters. I thought what an amazing experience that would be for them. And we just had an amazing time. Uh, I've never been on a cruise. And if you never have been, this is just an amazing way to, to travel. Uh, it's fun. To be there with our so many positive, and it was about 330 of us. Tyler Norton was there. Justin was there. We had dinner with people. We, we talk about different stories, the testimonials, and everyone's had a challenge. Everyone's got a story. And just to hear all them all, that was just so inspiring. And to all connect together, it's just this amazing momentum and feeling of enthusiasm. And it just builds your vision even more. It's just it's so exciting. And I just can't wait for a lot of you that are on this call tonight to experience that. Absolutely. Love you have it. to. So we're going we're gonna to wrap up in the next few minutes here, but we would be remiss if we did not talk about a CFR for athletes. I mean, you are, you know, a top, a top, top athlete. How, how has Redox Signaling benefited you as an athlete and why would you recommend it to athletes, Lorraine? Where'd you get those photos from? 
Oh. Facebook site. Oh, I love it. Uh, um, <laughs> well, listen, um, I still train really hard. I love the endorphins that it releases. It's, um, it's obviously come from my days of competing. Uh, I still love to do that every day. And I am nearly turning 52 years of age and I am keeping up with 30-year-olds. And I'm not just talking women, I'm just talking men. I just find that because of a seer, I can train hard, I can keep going. My recovery is amazing, absolutely amazing. And I know if it wasn't, I feel 10 years younger, I feel better than I was yeah, 10 years ago. And I know that's because of a SEA and the Renew 28. And I use them both in conjunction um, to perform and for my recovery. And I just think if you really want to make a difference in your performance, whether you're a serious athlete competing, you really need to have a look at, into it deeply. If you're just for that active person who would like a little bit more, um, again, use both because they're just incredible what they can do for you. Absolutely wonderful. So how would you like to wrap up this interview? What would you like to say about you or Asia in closing here, Lorraine? Lorraine? I would, I would just like to say um, if I can do it, uh, a single mom who had no idea um, how to really work on a business. I had to learn all the skills. Um, I was just a phys -edda. I was just a personal trainer. And um, to jump over the other side of the fence and to really learn the skills, how to do what I did with this amazing company, you can do it too. Um, don't use it. You've got no time. Um, you don't know anyone or you don't know where to start. It's all there for you. There are books, there are links to listen to. You've got great people like Trish and Bob and many other people on this call that you can listen into to get ideas from. But it's not a race. It's not about the first one to get to Diamond. It's your business and what you do with it and what you get out of it is totally up to you and how much time you put into it. Um, and if that's small enough time, just give it time. It doesn't matter if you do it three years, five years or eight years. Uh, you'll never see a bigger opportunity than this. Stay with it and uh, you'll go a long way. Our tonight, and with that, we will say good night to everyone. Or good day, hey. in, as they say in Australia. Thank you so much for having me. Talk to you soon. Okay, have a great see you day or night, everybody. Take care. Thank you, Lorraine. Thank you. Everyone. Thank you. Okay, bye bye. Thank you.